All right, YouTube, today we're gonna play some four color shadow. We're gonna be on the play, on the play here. Playing against Variant Stats, we're playing against Storm. Sand is not very good against Storm. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan this. More than likely these cards are, like two of these cards are probably dead. We don't have a threat. Oh, this hand's much better. Another cantrip. There's our shadow. So we have turn two shadow. It's also a turn two, like, very large shadow. Probably gonna go get watery grave and, like, stomping ground. Just to make it so we can cast this terminate if we need to. I'm not super wild about getting stomping ground, so if I draw another land, I'll get Blood Crypt. Most of the time, the off-color lands are the worst lands in the deck. And I've got two of them today. So hopefully they can help supplement each other a little bit. Storm's a pretty good matchup. We got a lot of counter spells after sideboard. I can bring in delay in this matchup. When I was bringing in something like, um, when I was bringing in stuff like, I can't think of the name of it, Disdainful Stroke. I never really liked Disdainful Stroke in these matchups because it was just too narrow. And oftentimes they boarded out some of the targets. But delay still hits the targets that we want it to. Um, so we're just going to take this Unsubstantiate so that our shadow can start clocking next turn. We got this brawl handle that's good that's a pretty good drop so now i can go get blood crypt with this steam vents sleight of hand or serum visions. probably serum visions i would say that this is like a setup yeah he doesn't need something right now if he needed something right now he would sleight of hand <laughs> sleight of hands are much more like aggressive cantrip than serum visions My puppy is going nuts. Might as well get my music going on. Forgot to start that. Okay, that's an even, that's a great draw as well. That's what they do, they went bottom top. So let's start with the Blood Crypt. Now the next turn we'll crack him for six. It's a pretty unfortunate draw from our opponent here. I think they kind of have to play. I don't know. Maybe they don't have to play this brawl. They don't have anything going on though. <clears throat> so they have the card they drew. They kept on top. Okay, that's a pretty good draw. So let's. Go get an overgrown tomb. I'm just gonna get another blue source. Attack for six, traverse for another shadow, and put lethal on the board for next turn. He easily could have, I guess he wouldn't put something like remand on top of the library because that's just too soft. turn off my f6 just to make him if he remands this <clears throat> make him think about noxious revival getting back sleight of hand yeah we'll let this go it's an odd card to get back unless he thinks that they can go off here because that's the card they kept on top <clears throat> so it could be that now he's forced to go off this turn but if he goes play Baral, play sleight of hand then he's out of mana so he needs to start with this Okay. So now we got a block party. We'll terminate that. 
Okay, Manamorpho. So he's just going for it. So he starts the Brawl, Shiv, and Reef. Then whatever he, he draws. Okay. Pretty good draw. Now, I think that he and Caleb side out all of their... Um, they side out all of their bears in these interactive matchups. So I'm gonna go with that until I see one. So I'm gonna cut all of my removal. Bring in Stub, Surgical, and Collective Brutality. Cut my Lilianas, because they're too slow. I don't think I need the other Rampager. Oh, I don't want this. I don't want the Snapcaster, it's a little slow. <clears throat> I do like going no removal here until I see a bear, kind of the traverse. <clears throat> now I wonder if, I wonder if Tarmogoyf, if Snapcaster Mage is better than like a Tarmogoyf. Easily could be better than it. Tarmogoyf's a little slow. I don't think I want the Rampager. I don't really need to be redundant there. I need to be like very interactive in the first couple turns. And I actually think Snapcaster is better than Tarmogoyf when it comes to that respect. So we'll keep this. <clears throat> hey, no. Good boy. All right, we got turn two double shadow. This hand's not like super great. This is more relying on like my opponent having a bit of a slow hand. <coughs> we'll probably have to draw fairly well for this to occur as well. Don't do it. So we went top, top. That's, that's not good for the home team. That's a great draw. So we're going to get Wadwee Grave. Top, top. So I think I'm just going to take a ritual here. I just need to slow him down. He easily could have left like an empty on top of his deck. And then he could get like a little value empty the ones. Steam vents tapped. Nope. Okay, I'm going to hold up opt. Oh, it's another steam versions. Okay, so I know he went top, bottom, bottom. So he drew the card he wanted. Bottom top. All right, let's see what this top card is before we make any decisions. Because it might have to hold up Stubborn Denial. Desperate Ritual. Might have to hold, des might have to hold Stubborn Denial here, because one, two, if his last card is like, yeah, if his last card is something like a uh, empty the Warrens, then I'm actually just gonna like, I think I'm gonna stub his first play. Oh, all right, well, we got punished for what we drew. Yeah, we got a little punished here because we drew this Radiant Flames. Much rather have double death shadow in play. Grape shot. Targeting me. I think I'm gonna stub this one. Keep my shadow in play. So I know three out of the four cards in their in their hand. I'd like another counter spell. Okay, that's kind of another counter spell. All right, so just take desperate. 
This goes gets me breeding pool. I crack him. He doesn't, he doesn't know anything about the top of his library. Play another shadow. Shadows are lethal next turn, as long as we don't die here. And we would need something. He needs something like, he needs to kill me with Grape Shot in order to finish this game out. I should do it. Unless he's got like an unsubstantiate or something. Why is he pausing on my draw step? That's a great draw also, because it's just going to let us kill the, take the Grape Shots. Yep. And that's when you when you add counter spells to this matchup, it's just absolutely miserable for them. This five this like if you have a four the four color the traverse shadow decks that have blue in them are just the best decks in the format against counter spells. Again against uh combo decks. They're just absolutely nothing. The the combo decks are just so anemic. Tiki Man, this guy is the the salt mine of Moto. I'm gonna keep this hand. Pretty aggressive. I'll probably get rid of the. Well, I'll see what they do, but I'll probably end up getting rid of the chat for this guy because this guy is an absolute miserable person to play against. Fetch, Overgrown Tomb. Cycle my Street Wraith. I guess we'll lead off with this one. Alright, so he's playing an Amulet. We put a card on top. Should have ditched this engineer explosives. I'm assuming he put a green source on top of his deck. If we can get a shadow, we should be in good shape here. Gruel to Earth. Take this ancient stirrings. Just leave him with the kitchen finks. <coughs> okay, so he's got a Teleria West in his hand as well. I'm gonna fetch down to eight. Get Blood Crypt. This is not good. The old runner runner lands off the top was not good. Slayer Stronghold. Just gonna fetch again. Get that, just thin out my library. This is unfortunate. I'm probably, if he, if he plays a creature, I'm probably going to Battle Rage it. Just so that I can make sure to have um, Delirium if I hit that. I'd much rather this be a removal spell, but I'm just going to make doing this so that Traverse is a live draw off the top. lands so 
Then he's got a Corsair and two other cards. All right, at least we're both not doing anything. So this Street Wraith is not going to be enough of a clock to really matter. Okay, there's something. So we got we got something on the, we're on the board. Go team. I'm assuming that if we see a green spell. Okay, yeah, the Simic Growth Chamber. Gloats with Telerial West. What is this? Ballista for two. All right, that is a problem. That thing could just kill us. Well, we're lucky we drew an answer to that. They're going to be able to play the... <coughs> so I know you have Teleria West and... Um, so he needs untap red-white source in order to like give the Corsair haste. So I'm just going to attack. Attack into it. If he's got a, if he's got a red-white source... It's on comes into play untapped, we're just dead. But we're not really beating that. He might just wait and he plays the Tulare West, it's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Now we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead to the Titan. Not actually dead, but we're dead. Like so in this matchup, we, we do want the Rampager. Um, I want my Delays. I want Stubs. And I want Extractions. The only on the Veil is kind of slow. Um, Decay is good. These Fatal Pushes aren't very good on the play. We could easily do something like this. The terminates are probably not very good. We'll just try to like ca use the counter spells to our advantage. So you want a card like Collective Brutality or um, we can get like Brutality. <coughs> yeah, I'll bring in the Brutality. I'll bring in all three Brutalities and I will cut one land. The Bloodstained Mire. So if we can extract, if we can like hit a Titan and extract it, then that'll be good. Alright, this hand's pretty good. Hopefully we can find a threat. I'm going to lead off with Inquisition because I want to hit like a like an Amulet or a Sakura Tribe Scout or like an Ancient Stirrings. All right. Now I'm just going to use my mana. Get Overgrown Tomb. And just take the Titan. It's such a nightmare trying to keep track of the hand with this deck. That Bajoku bot. I should have I should have gotten rid of a traverse from my hand. Because the bog's gonna be really annoying for how this works out. That was a lucky draw. So we gotta find a way to deal ourselves a little bit of damage. That colony heart's annoying. That's a way to deal damage. All right. Thing is, they're going to be able to start working this Bajoku bar. I should have definitely cut some traverses. That was that was a mistake on my part. At least my opponent's graveyard is going to keep this Tarmogoyf decently large. Hope we don't get a Zuzid here. We've got enough pressure now where if I can untap with like 
and have this delay up, I should be able to play enough defense. Summoner's back, here comes Azusa, which is gross. Yep. So he plays both of these bounce lands. Bounces to Larry West, okay. So he can't play, he can't tighten me next turn because he's got to pay for his pact. So I'm going to play another Tarmogoyf. Let's get on the battlefield. Okay, the scouts. Okay. Surprised he played the Teleri West. That seems odd that he played out all of his cards like that. I think we're just gonna get this into play tapped. Yeah, I think we're just gonna play this tapped. Really surprised about my opponent playing all of their lands there. I think they easily could have gotten away with with not doing that. Let the ancient stirrings go. So I think I've got him no matter what here, yeah. Very odd for my opponent. Then playing out all those lands. Okay, so I'm gonna actually cut a couple of these traverses. Cut a Tarmogoyf, bring in a Snapcaster Mage, bring in a Rampager. And I'm gonna actually bring in a couple of Fatal Pushes to kill the Tribe Scout on one. Cut a Brutality too. I don't like doing this, but I think I do have to get the have interaction for the tribe scout early in the game. This is the no land heater. Okay, we'll keep this. Um putting this on the bottom. We can answer a turn one um Tribe Scout, which is good. That's a great draw. That's the land that I was going to fetch for. So now I can go get Blood Crypt. Hit this. <coughs> and then we're going to slam Tarmac Life next turn. Get that into play. The gems don't land. I mean, they're going to be able to bounce it back to their hands, so they'll be fine. Joker bog, that's annoying. Interesting. So they're not going to be able to tap this again. They're going to have to play their bounce land before they use that. Let's see what they're going to draw. Ancient stirrings. I like Radiant Flames. Yeah, it's it's just the best, it's the best sweeper for this kind of deck, I think. I think I'm just going to play Goyf. He's going to be bouncing his gemstone mine so <clears throat> yeah radiant flames it just is easy on the mana and it deals three damage like with humans in the format kozilek's return and like pyroclasm are just like unplayable all right that's good we draw fetch land we can stubborn denial Take a look. Uh, 
Okay, so I take a Zuza. If I take a Zuza, I can stub this engineered explosives. They can't pack it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a Zuza. Let the stirrings go. Like the card we're looking to kill, we gotta get rid of this. We can't let this explosives land. stirrings we need like one more good draw I think to seal this game up here Boros Garrison so he's got two four six mana so I can traverse for a street wraith which I kind of like buy me another card traverse for street wraith Let's we do five, Death Shadows three, 11, eight. Yeah, so I need to go traverse for, I'm gonna traverse for a Street Wraith because even traversing for a fetch land doesn't kill my opponent next turn. Okay, so that is gonna kill my opponent next turn. So I'm gonna play the shadow and play the fetch land because if they play in Azusa, I wanna be able to respond to the next land. <clears throat> like if they do anything here, I just wanna be able to push it. And I'm gonna need the revolt probably to do that more than likely. All right, that's pretty bad. They still need more mana. Like they've got three Four, five. So they need to get another way to play more lands. In order to get this Titan into play. Okay, Summoner's Pack for Azusa. Obstinate Bailoth, okay. So what do I do now? So they have packed prime time. They have to pay for this. So let me, I think I'm just gonna fetch push this. I need like a Gorkland Rampager, Battle Rage. salting off that's tiki man tiki man is one of the larger salt mines that are on magic online how is my vo for everybody in the chat how is how are they doing today and how is my volume going i've been working with this new mic here I also got a new lamp. Got a, got a good little stream setup going on. Starting to get there. Starting to look good. So I hope everyone in the chat's having a good day. <coughs> there are a few people on Moto that make me ha feel better than beating Tiki Man. Not gonna lie. <coughs> if 
the funny thing is that I always beat Tiki Man because of like the decks that we play. Like I'm usually always like way wicked and bad because he plays he just plays like a bunch of degenerate combo decks. Uh, this hand's very good. If we get a target for this removal spell, we get to traverse for a shadow on two. Yeah, I like I like in this with this blue build all of these spell based combo decks or all these combo decks. They're just such layups in game one. That's a great draw. We are drawing very well today. All right, here we go. This is where the rubber hits the road. So I can just take Bob, push champ. I could take Bob, push champion. Next turn, play Shadow. Yeah, I think that's the plan. I have to be mine my life total. This is where the Gore Clan Rampager is in the sideboard for. Just another, another matchup like this. So this Cavern into Champion. Mantis Rider off the top. So I actually think I'm just going to let this be for a turn. Go get an Overgrown Tomb. Traverse for a Shadow. Play Shadow. Hopefully he plays a loop. I guess it don't even really matter. It doesn't really matter what he plays here. Thalia. Okay. <coughs> I probably can't go too much lower than this. Play another one. Because of that malcontent. Or I've got to like win right now. Let all this happen. Now do I push the Thalia or do I push the champion? Probably the Thalia. No, because of the champ I have to the champion's gonna do more damage to me, which is gonna make this malcontent worse. So I think I do have to get the champion off the board. So here I can actually traverse for a fetch land. Threaten to deal myself three, 14. Play Tarmogoyf to block. And then, yeah, so then I'm gonna go traverse for a fetch land. Have it go get stomping ground. Attack, see what my opponent does. I'm doing it anyway, so I'm gonna put them to two. And then I'm at six, block here, malcontents. And then a removal spell gets us. He actually can't attack. Yeah, so let's go traverse for a fetch land. It has to be a fetch land that gets stomping ground because we don't have the blood crypt. Or we don't have the we don't have another overgrown tomb, excuse me. And I block here, take five from the malcontent trigger or the mantis rider. I 
And then now he has to abyss away his board next turn. Puts me to one. And then Malcontent can kill me. Unless I draw a removal spell, I can kill the Malcontent with the trigger on the stack. No. Nope. Got him. That was lucky. That was a very fortunate draw for myself. So cards come out. Stubborn Denial comes out. Liliana the Veil comes out. We want Radiant Flames, Last Hope, these Brutalities, and a Snapcaster. Um, I don't love Inquisition in these matchups. I much rather would like have everything in my deck that says kill a target creature. Brutalities can give me life in a pinch. <coughs> I probably don't need all of them. Like it's a, that sounds a little bit. Keep six one mana interactive spells in. Yeah, we'll go with this. 16 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope everyone is having a great Easter. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to y'all. Um, yeah, you can't mulligan a hand like this. It's it's not great, but we have interaction on one, a turn away on two, a redraw, and a removal spell. Like most of the times how I beat this deck is you turn into like a control deck. You just kill everything and then you attack them once with a death shadow. All right, so I'm gonna go fetch my basic. And it's, again, it's not a big deal if we don't fetch blue mana this game. It's been a really good draw. What they do with their scry? They put a card on the bottom. I kind of want to take this Phantasmal image. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take this image. This image could be anything. Like, if they start imaging Reflector Mages, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose. So I'm just going to take the image as it's, like, their most flexible card. And then be an adult and probably terminate this Dark Confidant if they play it here. They might not. They might play Champion and then set up a better Bob turn later. This is Vile. Okay, so now they're going to play Champion. Now this gets us a window to get Tarmogoyf down, where Tarmogoyf will likely be larger than at least one, if not both. Like, I doubt my opponent can attack next turn. We have three removal spells, so we're doing okay. The problem is they have way more creatures than we have removal. How's the league going this morning? Run running with beers, we're currently 2-0, and and we're up a game. This is the list I would have played if I could have played the Mox today, but I was pretty, just pretty busy and didn't work out. The Freebooter's a nice draw. Because now that means I have to answer the Freebooter. But my hand's pretty great. Like, this Tarmogoyf's on block duty for a while, though. Like, if I can find a second creature. Hey, Archmage, how you doing today? A block. Okay. Let's check out what... I'm going to check out what I'm drawing. Traverse. That's a good draw. That is a Death Shadow. So we're going to draw that. Play defense. Our Tarmogoy is effectively holding this down. <coughs> if my opponent draws a Reflector Mage, I'm in a lot of trouble. But the, I guess they're not doing anything with it this turn. Thalia's Lieutenant would be pretty gross. That's that's not good as well. We might get into a position where my opponent like overwhelms my removal here. Just gonna get rid of this. Traverse for Death Shadow next turn, and then hold up, terminate on something. Yeah, I like it. Trying to find motivation to work. Nice. Okay, so now that is... 
I really don't want to let this Bob do anything. So this Traverse now is a Gore Clan Rampager. That is what this is doing. So now the question is, if I attack, if I should attack with my Tarmogoyf? And I think the answer is yes. Because I want to be able to chip shot my opponent so that I don't need a lot to kill my opponent. Because like the Gore Clan Rampager isn't as good as Teamer Battle Rage. So this 5 damage is actually relevant. This leaves us pretty molly -whopped to a card like Reflector Mage from my opponent. Like we'll probably just die to Reflector Mage. Another stop, okay. And because of how Death Shadow works. Like, I'm going to be able to block at least one of these. I can potentially eat one. So if my opponent misses here, I'm in pretty good shape. And if they do any damage to me... Like, I just die to a Reflector Mage. But if they do any damage to me, then it's going to more than likely make the, the Death Shadow lethal through a blocker. The Thalia's Lieutenant, that could be a little scary. It looks like that's what this is. No, it's just a Thalia. Okay. That's annoying. <coughs> this is not good from the opponent. So block here, take nine. Death Shadow lives. Rampage over and kill them, right? Yeah. I can block this, take eight. Take eight, my shadow becomes a 10 10. Then Rampage over it for 14, yeah. My opponent likely doesn't know how Death Shadow works. That's usually what an attack like this means. I need to fetch a green source at the end of the turn. Or they're just like whatever. Yeah, this pot this is the state based effects death shadow pods here. That's what this is here. This is classic. This is the like what just happened to me? Am I dead? And the answer is yes. Yeah, I actually just killed this as I was on. And occasionally you get something with this. And I guess, you know, if it's going to make my opponent feel any better. Are you talking about Decandio's deck? Um, Sir Chibs. So, 16. I think the Candio's deck is, is fun to play. It was just doing too much. Like, I think his deck is worse than Jund, and it's worse than Mardu Pyromancer. 16 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time hanging out. My name's Dylan Hovey. You've wandered on my stream. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network uh, that can be linked below to the best bot chain in the business. I'm also sponsored by Gamer Craze, which is where I learned to play Magic. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They have a great buy and sell system because they foster a college environment. Uh, you can always check the stream out on YouTube. All my streams are archived. And if you want to talk about Magic, then just chat with me on Twitter. That's where I love to talk Magic. So... <clears throat> I think, yeah, I think the Candio's deck does too much. All right, we're about to ruin my opponent's 5-0. Um, we can keep this hand because we're on the play. <coughs> we're not going to have red mana to start, which is a little awkward. I'm going to get some more water.
Yeah, it's pretty frustrating that I can't play in the mocks today. Like, we're going to go see, we're going, there's dinner. I have brunch plans with my wife and her, um, my wife and her sister. Fatal push. I think we're going to want that. Still should have played my fetch land. That was a mistake. Because now I can't go like Street Wraith into fetch land Death Shadow. Island. Please play when we're playing Storm. I think we're playing Storm, which is gas. <clears throat> this is such as just a ridiculous. This five, this this four, this Death Shadow deck that includes blue just has such an insane combo matchup. Like you're just the best deck in the format against combo combo decks, and it's just not particularly close. Between eight discard spells, six counter spells, a reliable clock, it's just like so bad. Oh god, I'm still on my. Oh no, I'm not on the MTG stream. It's just lagging a little bit. Oh, we're playing against blue white. I no longer can win. <clears throat> yeah, now we're just we're just super dead because we don't play. We only, we cut one basic too. So now we are just super dead. Yeah, we are we're dead as a doorknob. <clears throat> I'm gonna play it out, but as soon as my opponent deals with this Tomerloy, then we are just on the concession train. Well, that means we can cast Liliana. If they land anything here, we'll keep playing here for a second. But we made our deck worse against decks like Blue White and such, because we only play one one basic. And it's just a tough matchup in general. The IQ did not go very well, Ray. I, I played like an asshole <clears throat> and played myself out of top eight, which was frustrating. I could just like abrupt decay. This is just like screams cryptic command. <clears throat> I could just decay the search for his counter. That's so mopey. We're just going to jam. Like, I don't have any other good plays. Like the best the best chance that I have to win this game is hope this Liliana resolves. Yep, Tom Tom struggled too. Tom played humans. And like this game is just way over. Moto's tweaking out on me. <clears throat> We're having some moto problems. Looks like we're back here. Oh, what are you doing for work now, Ray? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're just going to concede. <clears throat> this game's over. Yeah, what are you doing for work now, Ray? Oh, I'm going to take stub, delay, snap. Last hope. Bring all these in there. Cut my terminate. Cut my fatal pushes. I like having no answers. I think it's right to have no answers to colonnade after sideboard here. I'm gonna cut a traverse. They have some some discard spells. I don't even think I like. I don't want surgical. Managing an opening of two 
Wow, dude, that is so great, Ray. That's fucking awesome. Excuse my language, but that that's that's great, Ray. Moving up in the world, dude. That is really awesome, dude. <clears throat> yeah, you just can't like this is probably the worst matchup for Death Shadow in the format. Like I, I actually did reasonably well against it when I had Bloodbright Elf in the deck. Like I was winning probably like forty percent of the matches. But that's when like but I was giving up way too many percentages across the rest of the board. To to have it be worth it. And like you know, I love me I love me some Archmage, but like this deck I believe that blue white is just like a completely terrible deck. Like I love Archmage, he's the man, but like it, it's just it just doesn't it doesn't check enough boxes in modern. <clears throat> like it's it's too slow. There's like too many like other matchups that are rough. Like even the Bloodbraid Elf, like the Jun matchup's gotten a lot closer with Bloodbraid Elf being printed. Like I'm just I'm all right losing to this deck. It's a deck that I just don't think is positioned very well now. <laughs> Archmage, you're you're great, and there are other snap blue Snapcaster Mage decks that I do like, but like. As a Death Shadow player, you should just not even sideboard. You shouldn't even think about this matchup. Because you can't win, and it's not going to see enough play to matter. The unbanning's probably helped, but, like, you're still this huge, clunky, plotting deck. You know, like... You're a deck that main decks Supreme Verdict. And they're just... I can think of so many matchups in Modern where that's just like... That card's just blanked. Um, I'm going to use my mana this turn guaranteed. So I'm going to cycle this. This could be a Spell Snare. So I'm a little hesitant about just jamming my Tarmal Wife right into this thing. I fetched the wrong land. Now, it, the Death Shadow is even larger. Yes, you do get sideboarding, but even in matchups that you're favored against, it gets very difficult to win. I think it's very difficult. Like, So for example... When I was playing Death Shadow with white in the deck, I thought that I was favored. That's tough. I thought that I was favored post board against Grixis Shadow, but it still was like very difficult to win. Oh, I don't have another land here because I cut the Overgrown Tomb. That sucks. Oh, that's bad. Um, it was just not. I was just like trying to put together a thought. Um. Like, I thought I was favored against Grixis Shadow after sideboard. And it was still, felt like a very, it's still a tough matchup because it's tough to win two two games after sideboard. Yeah, we're just, we're good. We're not going to beat this guy. Let's get the 4-1. We're not going to waste our time here. We would have drawn, yeah, we would have drawn some good cards. But I think it's even, like, it's difficult to win two sideboard matchups, two sideboard games against any deck, especially when you're on the draw for one of them. Because they also improve. Most decks improve in modern in matchups after sideboard. I would agree that blue-white is a deck that improves more after sideboard than most decks because A, you have Jace, and B, you have a lot of, you have a lot of polarizing cards in your deck, right? Like... Like, Supreme Verdict, Path to Exile, there's going to be matchups where those cards don't matter. Um, mostly. I would say the counter spells are pretty good everywhere. At least they're better than, like, you know, Supreme Verdict. Uh, this hand's good. I want one more threat, but... 
We are good for now. Hopefully we get to play against something fun. Let's play Jund. Let's play let's play a little mirror here. Is this a Valakit deck? <coughs> Arbor Elf. That's rough. We don't play the other green source. So Yeah, that makes sense. And you get good sideboard cards in white. But I'm just saying, like, I think that the deck gives up too many percentage points um, in game one in order to be... Oh, wow. What is this? What the... F You're searching your library. You may cast Pranglacial Warm from your library. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Utopia Sprawl. So that's what they drew. So now this... So can they Scarab God me next turn? Wow, what format am I playing? One, two, two, four... Yeah, I have to actually Thought Seize them. To get rid of the Scarab God. Yeah, I mean, this is cool. I have no idea what I'm playing against. <clears throat> okay, so they don't have any plays. Best draw would be a Death Shadow. Someone's getting memed. Yeah, that's that looks like what's happening here. Um. All right. I don't think I can... I guess I'm taking two and these two battle rages. So I might just be able to like, kill him with battle rage, like multiple battle rages in one turn. Is that place Bring the Light? Two... That's also, he's just gonna cast playing Glacial Warm. Oh my god. So I can't beat this card, right? Unless I got Death Shadow. If I got Death Shadow, we can beat this card. He who memes first laughs last. So I can double block this with my Tarmogoyfs. but I can't kill it. I guess I should have attacked with one. Yeah, so I can't even double block my Goyfs, so I'm just gonna... I can't kill it with a Team or Battle Rage, so I'm just gonna, like, double block and trade and then play Grim Flare. I should have done that this turn. That was stupid. <clears throat> I'm a little in awe of what's going on here. I do have two fetchable red sources. Yeah, I have a stomping ground and a blood crypt. What is this? I should have I should have played Grim Flare last turn. But I would go to six to do that. Yeah, that's taking too much damage. We're pretty much in like a Death Shadow or Bust mode at this point. Because the Tarmogoyf only becomes a 4-5. What is my opponent doing? I'm so scared. Alright, show me what you got. So you, like, you can't get a scape shift, right? Maelstrom Pulse. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on here. I think we're just going to go full lean here. Like, I, I can see bringing in all these cards. I, I doubt I'm going to, but... <coughs> I place Resto Kiki Bring the Light. 
So now I have to leave in. I'm gonna leave in my terminates. I think I'm gonna cut these. I know, I think I want delay. I have no idea what I want actually. I'm scared. If I'm cutting my pushes, I should bring in brutalities to deal with Arbor Elves. So I can like brutality it next turn. I don't really love Liliana against the Arbor Elf deck most of the time. And if he's playing Lingering Souls, we don't want this. So I think I want these. Maybe like this. Dude, I'm scared. Soul Hole, I am, I am scared to death. I have no idea what's going to happen to me. I think we can kill him before he gets to Resto and Kiki. <clears throat> I think that's the plan. I don't think I want any of my other cards. I have no idea. In all fairness. Bring in one more of these just to hedge, I think. I could cut a land as I've only got two drops. I should have done that. All right. We can kill an Arbor Elf or we can stub a Utopia Sprawl on one. We can't kill the Arbor Elf on one, but we can kill the Arbor Elf. <coughs> we have a Tarmogoyf on two to beat. Please don't, please be a Utopia Sprawl. Tilt. We're just a hundred percent escalating it and ditching the swamp. Yeah. So this gets me stomping ground. Well, maybe I ditch the traverse actually, because I can go Tarmogoyf hold up stub next turn. Yeah. Okay, double bring to life. So we're gonna take a bring to life. He's got an Arbor Elf, Wood Elf. Okay. Surprised he didn't play the Arbor Elf. I guess the bird is better if he doesn't have the necessary mana. Yo, this Arbor Elf is gonna just murder my Tarmogoyf. Oh, this uh <clears throat> this wall of them is just gonna murder my Tarmogoyf in battle here. How has Arena been? Arbor Elf. Okay, so we drew another Arbor Elf. All right. I'm just gonna hold up the stubborn denial, stub this wall. There's, there's bring the light. Excuse me. <coughs> or push something to make sure I get delirium. So I know my opponent's hand. It appears they are not going to jam, or they might jam. Oh, they can play through stub. Oh, no, they can't. Okay. We're okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So I'm probably pushing one of these Arbor Elves, right? I should have done that without on the stack. No, they would have just untapped something else. So I gotta push an Arbor Elf, because I think I think I just want to limit my opponent's mana production. And I've got to terminate if they want to do anything stupid. And it's also gonna turn on Delir or it's gonna turn on my stubborn denial. Yeah. I see what you're saying there. So we're looking for a Death Shadow. So, oh, I should have done that before combat. I forgot they drew a card off the wall. Okay, what do we got going on here? All right, Temple Guard, bring the light. So my opponent's hand is like beatable.
Some other interface is not what I have complaints about. Yeah, I think the game looks great. Like, anybody that craps on the game, like, how it looks, I think is... I don't think is evaluating it, honestly. Like, I, I really... I really like the game... I really like how it looks. <clears throat> Holding the Temple Garden, okay. We're just going to turn this Tarmogoyf sideways enough times to hope that it works out. I'm secretly hoping for a very low graphics mode, though. You mean talking about, like, if you want to play, like, a little more competitively and seriously, that, like, you're not distracted by all of the, uh, whatever they are. Do you draw another Bring the Light, dude? Come on. Come on, man. Acidic slime. That's annoying. That's probably gonna make me use my terminate. Because I've gotta terminate this in order to continue attacking. And like if we don't attack, we're not gonna win. So I've got a temple garden and one unknown. Well, at least now we get the information. Jace the Mind Sculptor. We are just going to get like wrecked out of this game. And they can just Jace and they can bounce or brainstorm. No distractions and not. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you think they're ever going to have like competitive? Like, do you think they're ever going to have competitive play on there? I think the adult decision for my opponent is to bounce my Jace here. Or bounce my Tarmogoyf. And that is what they did. My opponent is an adult. I need like a shadow off the top. Not another land. Tilt. Gonna keep my fetch land up. Cycle of Shelter is bigger. This deck is wild. It does seem more intuitive to watch the MTGO. Yes. It does not seem as intuitive to, like, keep track of everything compared to MTGO, though. Uh, what could they have in their hand? <coughs> I probably should cast this. It could be like a removal spell or a maelstrom pulse, but they would have, I guess, I guess it's just, oh, resto. Wow. My opponent said I'm so good at this. They, they just made a mistake. So let's go get breeding pool so that we have a blue source, recast Tarmogoyf. So now they're in a little bit of trouble. Like they probably have to brainstorm with their Jace. I'm still missing the complexity though. I've been playing ramp. It's two weeks I missed being. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pretty good hit for them. Okay, so they found a decay. And this is just like. Yeah. This is just a Jace game. My opponent, like, we can continue playing. My opponent's probably just gonna Jace me out of there. That sucks to go from 3 0 to 3 2. That always feels bad. We hit two pretty poor. or I don't know if that last matchup is poor, but we did hit a poor matchup there right at the end. So let's open up our chest, see what we got. Negate. Ether Wind. This card was unbeatable. Unlimited. Queen's Agent. Rough chest. MTGO is more plain than Arena, but I actually like that. On the other hand, the package shows the product. So let me pull this deck up here, then I'll... What do I got here? I have time for one more game before I have to head out. <clears throat> so, actually, no, because I have to return these cards here. So let's... 